If the pandemic has taught us anything, it's that we can do a whole lot without ever leaving our houses. One of those things being at home, at home hair dyeing, which has proven to be crucial for many during this pandemic. Joining us now to discuss is Amy Errett, founder and CEO of Hair Color and Color Brand Madison Reed. Amy, uh, good to see you this morning. I've been hearing your commercials on the radio for years, so I'm glad we were able to have you on here today. Uh, what have you seen in your business uh, as we all have been quarantined the past three, four months? So first of all, thanks for having me this morning. Happy to be here. Um, the business has uh, really changed dramatically in the sense that um, we have doubled the size of our business on the top line. Uh, we have seen a 12x increase uh, in sales since COVID started. Um, and uh, although that's come down a tiny bit, we're still up dramatically. Uh, so we're, we're very pleased. It, uh, I'm not happy it took a pandemic for this to happen. I'd prefer that not to be happening. Uh, but I think that uh, it proves that hair coloring is really important for people emotionally. Hi, Amy. Thanks for joining us. Heidi Chung here. I want to get um, an update on what's been happening with the Madison Reed color bars. I understand that you have about 12 locations across some pretty big metropolitan areas, but how have they held up during the pandemic? So we have 17, soon to be 20. We have three more opening in the next uh, two weeks. Um, it's really, re Heidi, region by region. So we closed them, obviously, at the time that uh, uh, Shelter in Place started. We have reopened them uh, and they have seen some very good traffic. Uh, it's been region by region. So we're not open in San Francisco, obviously, because there's still salons that are closed um, and we are reopening New York City. Uh, but we're open in Atlanta, Dallas, Houston, uh, and we've seen very good volume in them. We are doing uh, something interesting. We're calling it sensible scheduling. So we're only seeing a handful of clients uh, at a time uh, because we want to make sure that all the protocols are in place. Amy Nesperay here. I'm wondering if you've seen any consumer preferences that have changed because of the pandemic, perhaps bolder colors, something different. Uh, we haven't seen bolder colors. I think what has changed in the pandemic is exactly what we're doing, which is video. Um, and that so many people are on Zoom calls uh, that, you know, I think you've seen, it, it's interesting that color cosmetics hasn't had the same impact as what's happened with hair color or apparel for that uh, purpose. But I think in hair color, uh, pr primarily women are, you know, want to color their roots and it's important to them. And I think they've found out that it's not hard to do. And so we've had this other piece of our business with getting tons of feedback saying, why was I going to a salon spending $200 in three hours when I could do this on Tuesday night at 1130? So um, it's, it's been a positive experience for, uh, for our clients. Uh, Amy, uh, a lot of folks also know you as a venture capitalist, uh, and your firm was one of the early investors in Peloton. What do you, let me tap your uh, VC mind for a bit. What do you make of the valuation that a Lululemon paid for a mirror? And do you see more consolidation in that space happening? Well, I think that, again, a very similar trend here is that the um, sort of at home fitness uh, concepts are really important because most people are not going to be going to gyms and they're looking for still great workouts. So uh, I'm not surprised about the uh, acquisition. I think that again, at-home fitness is another category benefiting dramatically from this. Um, I know Lululemon had made a investment um, prior to this. So I, I suspect they liked what they saw when they decided to make a full acquisition. Is the market size, uh, the number we, we always like to talk about is TAM, uh, total addressable market. Are these companies, has their TAM gone up significantly to justify, uh, you know, just some of the valuations they're getting? Uh, I think the TAM has gone up dramatically. Uh, mm -hmm. I think if you look at the size of the fitness market in general, and then you look at the size of the gym market, which is quite large, I think uh, the TAM is, is, is quite attractive. And so I, I believe that you'll see these companies continue to perform well. And again, I think it's another example, like in hair coloring, once the behavior shifts, it doesn't go back. And so I think that that's the other thing here that uh, as a VC um, you look for, which is kind of uh, consumer behavior changes that actually uh, create a long-term impact 
And I think we're seeing that in fitness and we're seeing it in hair coloring. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.